Do you want to play with the most up-to-date transfers on Football Manager 2024? Well, then look no further. For the Sort It Out SI data update, it gets updated every single day. It's a community-based project that has transfers added in all of the time. You just need to download a file, which we'll go through in this today's video, and you'll get the most up-to-date transfers in your game straight away. Okay then, if you head to the link in the description which will take you to the Football Manager data update page on the Sort Out SI website, which will look a little bit something like this. Uh, you can see here there is just a simple button to download the FM24 data update. I'm recording this on the 25th of January, so I think it's going to be released tomorrow. But basically, every single morning around 4am, this will get updated every single day. Uh, you can search through the update to see basically if the changes you are looking for have already been made. If they haven't and you've got proof that the um, change you are looking for has happened, you can add it yourself. There was a video about how to do that last year. Uh, please check that out. It'll probably be linked in this video as well. It's also linked on the website here. So we can have a look through and see a couple of transfers that have happened and they're in the database. So basically these transfers will happen in the database that we've just downloaded. I'll show you where you need to install it and what you need to do in game to get it to happen. You need to start a new save game, that is important. But what you do is you head to your downloads page and it will basically have a file that looks a little bit like this. You just need to extract the zipped file. I use 7-zip as you've probably known from all the videos on this channel, but you've got whatever extraction software you use it will do the same thing. And it will give you these three files at the moment. At some points during the year it will be more than that but you'll have a up data update changes file and any league promotion relegation files as well. So Colombian and Brazilian leagues have finished, so there's a file in there if you wish to run in those leagues. All you need to do is put them in your editor data folder, which is in my documents or the equivalent for Mac, which is in the description as well below. Paste those, those three or however many files in there, as long as you've got the changes file, that's the key one for all of the transfers. Put them in the editor data folder and that is perfect. You just need to go into game and start a new game. If you've never installed a new database or anything like that, then this is going to be helpful for you. But it's the same process with any other database. So the databases we've covered here on the channel in the past, it's the same way. So you just make sure the new files you've, update, you've updated and downloaded are ticked, particularly that data update changes file. That's the key one. If you're not playing in Brazil or Colombia, the other ones don't really matter unless you've got those leagues loaded anyway. You select them and you choose the game mode. Now, this is key. For the data update, it has to be the original mode for Football Manager. For some reason, SI have neglected in the pre-game editor how to set things up for your world and real world, so the changes in the data update will not work. If you want them to happen in real time, like they do with the summer transfer window, you're probably going to have to wait until Sports Interactive do their own data update, which will probably come out after the transfer window's finished. It's usually around the end of Feb, beginning of March kind of time. So that's what you're going to have to wait for. Set up your game however you wish. I've loaded a few leagues. Just have a look around, basically. Set the database however. You... I'm not going to go through how to set up your game, but basically just have something. Get your game ready however you want to. Start the game and we will be good to go. So, whilst that's happening in the background and the database is getting set up, I'm gonna tell you that you need to subscribe to the Sort It Out SI YouTube channel for more content like this. We've got lots and lots of guides for how to install your essentials for more your graphics, uh, your faces, your skins, your logos, your kits, everything like that we've got guides on. We've got league guides, we've got experiments, we've got databases. All of those things are here on the channel. If you enjoyed this video, like it, subscribe, tell all your friends, get them involved. If you also like me, I've got my own personal channel. It's called Shadow Striker. Over there, I've just done the Beat the 92 Challenge, and I'm just about to start the Glory Hunter Challenge. So the Night Beat the 92 Challenge is finishing this weekend. We've got the final episode, the Season 8 episode. Check that out. Check out the whole series. Subscribe to me. Subscribe to Sort Out SI. Subscribe to The Flying Scotsman. He's in them here on the channel as well. And that's all the plugs I can think of in the meantime whilst we're just loading through the game database setup. Uh, if you are having trouble with anything, let us know in the comments. We'll try and help you out as best we can. We got lots of comments though, so it does take us a while to get through them all, read through some of the responses to other comments. We might have answered your question as well. Right, uh, I'm gonna skip forward now until the database is loaded and have a look. Okay then, here we are. The database has loaded, the new game has started. We're gonna just search through a few players and make sure they're in the right place. Uh, so Jordan Henderson is at Ajax. Let's get the setup of the screen sorted so we can see something. We don't see his position and his, uh, his, poly his, his polygon. There we go, yeah. And we probably all want to see his career stats. Well, but you can see uh, in-game, he never actually did anything in the Saudi League. He moved there and then went straight to Ajax. 
because it happens at the beginning of the game. If you want to play in real time, uh, there will be another video coming out soon where we go through the real results and real start dates. So you can basically play from today with all the transfers and all the real results that have already happened in game. We'll have that video out very soon. I'm just working through a few, few things in the background with the team at FMRETE. FMRTE, that's the one, yep. Uh, we'll have a video about that very soon, and you can do the same thing that we've done here, but start in real time. So you see Vito Roque is at Barcelona. We've seen James Sancho's back on loan at Dortmund. Uh, let's have a look. So uh, Valentin Bracco, a wonder kid who's been signed by Brighton. Yep, he's there as well. Great signing for them. He's going to develop into a really, really good player over the next few years. He's only 18 years of age. Come from Boca in Argentina. Let's have another quick look through a few more players. Let's have a look. Uh, what other transfers happened? Uh, so Spurs have signed Radu Dragosin. He is there. He was in there on the 21 side, Romanian. Uh, he's come from Juventus, I believe. Or is that correct? I think he's come from Juventus. Um, yeah, it does. There, there we go. Look at his career stats. Uh, so here we go. He's he's moved over. So other transfers that happened as well. So Timo Werner is now on loan as well at Spurs. So he's on loan from Leipzig. You can see here that loan is starting from the beginning of the season, not the January transfer window, as we've said. We can't do that because of the way the, the pre-game editor is set up. You can't quite make those changes to happen in real time like they would in the real world. And hey, as a Blackburn fan, it's nice to see that Brereton Diaz has not flopped in Spain. He's just gone straight on loan to Sheffield United. Quite why I didn't say Blackburn. I'll never know. But there we go. That is a quick look through the database. It's quite simple to set up. You just do that download, put the files in the editor data folder, start a new game as long as you've selected uh, those database files you will see the changes coming through. We'll just have a quick check at Roma as well. It's quite recent that Jose Mourinho has been sacked. He's not there anymore. Has he got a job? Uh, no, I imagine he hasn't because we've just started the game. So he wouldn't have been signed by anyone yet. He's still unemployed. But there you go. Try and get him as an assistant, maybe. See if you can get Jose as an assistant. Or Jose the assistant. Not Jose the assistant. This is... This is an AEW. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, it's been nice and straightforward to get the data update installed. If you've got any questions, let us know. If you want to contribute to the data update, there is a video here on the channel as well, which you can follow along with, and it will show you how to do your own transfers, to put them into the game, uh, and join the community-based project here at Sort Out SI. Thanks a lot for watching. As I've said, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to this channel, subscribe to any channel you like watching videos on, and I'll see you on the next, uh, on the next video, not the next channel. Thanks a lot.